Get away. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Do you see how many of those that there are? Hey guys, how's it going? Command Diver here, and welcome back to yet another episode of... Better Minecraft. Hey, Millie, how's it going? What have you been up to since the last time I was here? Oh? Oh, I see. Working on the idea that you had for a... a what was that? A, a sky tower house? Oh, boy. I mean, I can probably do it, but... First, I'm going to have to make a mega tree. The house might start off as more of like a tree fort, but a really, really big one. And then I'll start to make it out of stone, maybe expand it from there. And then maybe even, um, ah, boy... Underwater base. You know I really, really want to do that underwater base, Millie. Hey. <sighs> I'm not going to get you on the same page with me until you get a Millie specialized sky palace. Is that right? <sighs> Alright, fine. But it's going to be a small one at first. Nothing too decadent. But... This is going to be a pretty huge undertaking, and I won't be able to get any electric or, you know, elevators or anything in there for at least a little bit until I can get some supplies together. See, guys, I told you she gets like this. A sky tower, really? Well, we're going to start off small with this project and just get her someplace safe where she can go. I have a feeling she's getting nervous about all the creepers and... You know, those revenant things running around. So let's get started. Let's get to work. No dilly-dallying. This is going to be a busy day. So I feel like a demonstration is in order. I'm just going to run way over here where there's no collateral damage to be had. All right, a nice big spot on the ground for our test. One, two, three, four. Four and only four as far as I've ever heard. Boom! Couple of quick pieces of bone meal on the ground, and bam, you got yourself a giant tree. First things first, I would like to make a tree top base. Some place that I can put Millie where she will be safe and secure from all of those rotten revenants and nightmares, because I just realized they can stick their heads not only through the door, but through the wall, and they can reach. So if she's sitting by the, uh, right up against the wall, she's in danger there. But I don't think they can spawn so high up. Next part of my plan. Wait, let me do this. Kind of swim across just a little bit, just a little bit more. There we go. Now, I mentioned the other day... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just a little bit ago, I guess. I mentioned a little bit ago that in addition to the treetop base, I would like to make an underwater facility here. And I plan very much on doing that. But then it got me to thinking, what if in addition to that, and I'm curious what your guys' thoughts on this might be, if between there... And the underwater base that kind of stretches out in between these three land masses, this one, that one, and that one. Um, and I don't know exactly how big the underwater portion will be, but I want it to be very cool. So it might be very big if I can figure out exactly what I want to do. But I might also right in through here, right around where the staircase is, or maybe even just off to the side of it, an offshoot here where it starts to trail off. Uh, I might do uh, a build that kind of looks like the remnants of a castle. Kind of um, like it was built out of the face of a mountain. Which means I'm going to need a lot of cut stone for that because I want it to have that, you know, that nice brick look. And that is why I needed that stone cutter. So I dumped it off at the top of the tree. Or at the base of the tree, excuse me. I dumped it off at the base of the tree just so that I wouldn't forget. Now, another thing I'm going to need... 
at least for the time being, is an efficient way, in a quick way, to get up and down and up and down. Ooh, what's that? Uh, from my actual treetop base, where Millie will be staying until everything gets safe. I think I found another emerald, guys. So, I will need, for my idea to work properly, something like maybe slime blocks to try to work out a design. Uh, it's not the only thing I'm going to need, but I think, maybe just maybe, I already have access to the other parts I need if I can make this work. <gasps> More than one! Money, dude. Literally, I guess. <laughs> Two emeralds. Like, I've been through here on a boat, and I don't believe I've seen that. Anyway, um, not to get distracted here by any means, but that means I've got to find some place where there might be slime blocks. I'm looking for places that might be dark and deep enough for there to be slimes, because I know they should be spawning in, like, the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the swamp areas. Um, but I also know that I've seen them in caves, deep, deep caves, but I have seen them in very, very dark places, so I wonder if I could get down deep enough or dark enough in one of these caves if I might be able to find one. And there's sort of only one way to find out, and that's by doing some mining. Holy cow! Uh-oh, something's coming. Oh, it's just a zombie. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Alright. I want to put a couple of outside torches here just so that I can see it from across the way, basically, because this... What is all that noise? This is a very, very big underground area. And it's going to take me more than one attempt to try to explore this down here. Well, hello, friend. I've heard about you. What have you got for me? Ooh, it's going to be a while before I have five dragon heads, I think. Diamond pickaxe. He can enchant it for me. Turtle egg. A turtle egg is worth six emeralds? Dude, you're the opposite of the villagers. They're trying to rip me off. Eight emeralds for a sponge. I could use a sponge. I could probably use a few sponges. Wait. No way. Dude! You're not gonna make any money like that, my man. No way! 40 copper ingots for 40 pieces of raw copper? Like, I could have done that myself, but that's, that's a time saver. I don't want to let this little guy get away from me because I have not seen one of the goblin traders in the entire spawn so far. Alright, you just stay there, okay? I feel like I just shut myself in in a dangerous situation, though. Alright, there is all kinds of space down here like I'm not seeing anything specifically jumping out at me you know except for spiders and stuff and an enderman I am gonna need to start farming out skeletons pretty soon because they'll give me bones which I need was that but they'll also give me arrows I think ah! Ah, ah, ah! Get away! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Do you see how many of those that there are? Oh my god! Get back! Ooh, bones! Delightful! Hey! Enderman! Endermen? Is the singular of Enderman 
still an is he still just an inner man? Or is it the same both ways, like singular and plural? I I just blew my own mind with that, I think. Oh my god, look at all these bones! I needed all of these bones. Alright, I don't know if anybody heard her. I try to cut her out because I know she's not a big Minecraft player. She's not a main part of the, uh, the Command Diver Minecraft world experience yet. I still have to try to convince her to participate. Somehow. So if she made it in there, sorry. Otherwise, hey guys, that's my significant other. That was her. I accidentally left her in the video. There's definitely more than one, and one of them has a trident. Wherever it is, it's got great aim. What the heck? Hey! Get out of my boat! Ah, the nerve of some people. Alright, so I've got a little bit of the slime that I need, and I know that it's not going to be enough. Alright, for right now, it's time to formulate myself my little house in the safety of the treetop. Where I know Millie can be safe and I know that the monster shouldn't be able to get at me. And then we'll come back around for more later, but I think it's important that I at least get this moving. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to start like this. That's kind of nice. Look at the view. Alright, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to safely relocate Millie up here, but this isn't really a house yet. This is more of a temple or a workshop. What I need is sand. Sand for glass. Because I can't quite end where I'm at. Unfortunately, we still need to take this at least another step further. Whoa! Alright, I'd like to just go right for the sand, but you know what? I better make a break for home. Hey, Millie. Oh no, your your fortress is going great. Honestly, it's gonna look wonderful. You're gonna be surprised. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Oh no! What did you just do? <gasps> oh no! That creeper killed the other cat! My guard cat. Oh man, that's super disappointing actually. Alright, well what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna leave that post there to remember my guard cat by. And I'll have to make him a proper gravestone later. I want to see what my tree fort looks like from here. Oh my gosh, I can see it from here. Oh, neat. I don't know if you guys remember it, by the way, but this is why I wanted to come over here. This lava pit right here. This was the beginning of my adventure. I spawned right here, and this is where I first said hello to you guys. 
YouTube has been quite a journey for me so far, and I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. I'm having an absolute blast. I was worried it wasn't going to look that good from a distance, but I'm happy with that. Excellent. Alright, now wherever I'm going to put the bed is where she's going to enjoy looking out over everything the most. The village is right over there, and all of the things I'm going to be building are going to mostly be over there. From here she can see the village, the place where she's been living up to this point and anything I'm going to build out in that expanse. So I'm going to say beds go right here. Yeah, that's neat. I like that. All right, and last but not least, to end off the episode... Guard Cat. He always watched our backs. And then I'm going to do a little extra for him. I'm going to put one here. One here, because Guard Cat loved Halloween. So he can have the orange and black uh, candles that I've collected over time. Ah. Uh. As always, thanks for stopping by and sharing this adventure with me. I really appreciate it, and I'm so glad that you guys are sharing this adventure with us. Me and Millie over there. Now, in the next episode, we're going to be moving into the new house, first things first, and I'm going to have to get her stubborn butt up there so that she's safe. She'll be a lot safer. She'll be a lot happier up there. It's all for Millie to make sure she stays safe, and she deserves a Sky Top Palace. At least that's what she told me, so... That's going to be the start of it. If you guys like the video, I hope you join me again next time. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you're ready for another deep dive in better Minecraft.